Max Ernst was born in Germany in 1891. He began to paint at home under the direction of his strict father, who was an amateur artist. Ernst never had any formal art training until 1909, where he went to college to mainly study philosophy, but also some art as well. He left his studies shortly after. In the same year, he began painting full-time. After a few years of painting and studying art in Cologne, World War I broke out. Ernst was drafted into the German army, serving all four years of the war. The war had a terrible psychological effects on Ernst, and his experiences in the war were put into many of his works of art later in life. In 1918, after the war, Ernst returned to Cologne. After himself and several other artists formed a Dada group in Cologne, Ernst began to develop his style, creating collages. Many of his early collages were reflective of the Dada style and were personalized with Ernst's own dreams, thoughts, and traumatic experiences while serving in World War I. His paintings also drew influences from Pablo Picasso's Cubism, post-impressionist Van Gogh and Gauguin, and the Italian mesophysical artist Jorgio de Cerico. A few of Ernst's early paintings are similar to the metaphysical style of de Cerico. One of these paintings was Achis Submersius, which was one of Ernst's first known ones, where he experimented with a seemingly random array of figures placed in unconventional areas. Achis Submersius was an early example of what was to come from Ernst. In 1922, Ernst moved to Paris where he perfected his style of art until the outbreak of World War II. Drawing influences from the ideas of Sigmund Freud, Ernst began his most prolific period where many of his most recognizable paintings were created. He pioneered a style of painting called frottage, where pencils or pastels are rubbed over an uneven surface. Raining day in a seaside inn found me gazing at the floorboards of my room. My gaze became excited, then obsessed by the sight of the balls, where a thousand rubbings sat deep into the groves. I decided then to investigate the meaning of this obsession. Along with grottage, which is paint being rubbed across a surface to reveal an outline of an object underneath. These techniques would give Ernst's works odd textures, bizarre figures, and color palettes, similar to the surrealism movement but created through different techniques. Another different aspect of Ernst's art was his inclusion of his alter ego in paintings, which was a bird. In many of Ernst's paintings, birds can be seen among the beautiful chaos. In 1939, at the outbreak of World War II, a German-born Ernst was detained a few times by the Germans, but he managed to escape to the United States where he lived for 12 years. He lived mainly in New York and worked with many other artists who escaped World War II in New York. A new country didn't stop Ernst from painting, and a 50-year-old Ernst still experimented with new techniques with his works of art, such as oscillation, where a paint can with holes on the bottom are swung over a canvas to create bizarre looking dot patterns. While living in Arizona, Ernst painted The Eye of Silence, a desert-like collage of odd landscapes and figures assembled with Sigmund Freud's dream theories in mind creating a surrealist work of art filled with emotion. His output of work during his time in America helped influence the growing abstract expressionist scene, particularly Jackson Pollock. In the 1950s, Ernst moved back to France, where he continued to create art, albeit at a slower rate. He died in 1976 at the age of 84.